things destroyed. Holy shit. So here we got a Lexus IS350. Which model? Uh, which year? Brian? 2007. 2007 with a blown engine. How do we know this? Well, we took the oil pan off and all those nice crispy chunky parts in here. That used to be the piston. Well, this one needs a new engine. Get this fuck out. Oh, fuck you, Lexus. <laughs> so, we get a lot of stuff out of the engine already, but since we're gonna wanna get the whole engine off and we can't drop it, since we don't have a hoist or anything, um, we have to somehow disconnect it from the transmission. And we can get to the bell housing of the tr transmission, but we still have to detach the flywheel off the engine. In order to do this, usually you get underneath and there's a slot between the bell house and the, and the engine to get the bolts off. But therefore you have to crank the engine to get all those bolts out. Since this one is completely destroyed and 100% seized and we can't crank it right now, even with a huge ass cheater bar, um, we're trying to basically get everything off the engine right now, cams and everything, to somehow maybe be able to crank it later and get it off that flywheel. Now we should be able to crank it. Ryan, you want to give it a try? With this bi biggest lever. Come on. Yes. There we go. found the piston. If you look at this, this one's moving up in the middle and it stays. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not supposed to, that's supposed to happen. We're gonna test drive this Tesla P100D now. Left on the brake, left, yep, all yeah. the way down, and then all the way up, yep, there you go. Release. Let's go. Don't get your feet on anything in there. I'll well, just try to push it through. <laughs> well, and that is how <laughs> the piston looks like. Holy shit. Things destroyed. Well, you gotta look at this. We took this engine apart. Just this engine block here has those huge scratches in the cylinder. So this one's gone. Now look at this. We have the crankshaft main bearing flattened out. 
obviously this one it's not supposed to be like that I guess with the cylinder <laughs> fucking ripped apart and now look at the bearings here we have the rod bearings welded on completely gone welded on and now look at this rod here This is completely melted. Isn't that amazing? This is so cool. I mean, not for the owner of the car, but it's pretty cool. Should I leave the thing on?